I'm Howard Hale with the Harvest USA Report. Today's guest will have information on the trade deal with China in just a moment. Jameson Ranch at Quinter, Kansas is having their bull sale on the 28th of February. Gray's Angus Ranch, March 21st, that's when their bull sale is going to be. And then this weekend, Troyer Auctions having their select sale of 60-plus head of horses at the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo. You can find information on all of those firms by going to agsearch.us. Agsearch.us, good place for you to visit. Over 8,500 firms listed there. Agsearch.us. Floyd Gabler is with us again today. He's the Director of Trade Policy and Biotechnology for the U.S. Grains Council. Talk about the trade deal with China, what this Phase 1 means. Phase 1 agreement does provide you know, kind of a, a respite, is what I call it. It's a disengagement of retaliatory efforts on agriculture setting it aside from the, the non-ag issues. There's two commitments. One, to obviously, to make these purchases of 40 to $50 billion a year for this year and next year. But more importantly, in my view, is the structural reforms. Collectively, agriculture and food, the food industry, had 57 issues of concern of non-tariff barriers that were brought to USTR and USDA. Our ourselves had at least a half a dozen of those. And what this agreement did was address most every one of these in some form or fashion. For us in particular, uh, addressing the so-called asynchronous biotechnology policy, if it's actually implemented and put in place, would be transformational. Floyd Gabler, the Director of Trade Policy for the U.S. Grains Council, thanks for joining us. Always great to have you along. May God bless. And you come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.